details. When the Nets tipped off this season, they were among NBA Finals favorites, but they ended it without a playoff win. Of course, that was even even reaching the playoffs, something to consider after Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant bailed on Brooklyn this year. Much different team to finish this season. Nets had a real shot at avoiding a sweep at home in game four with no Joel Embiid for Philly. But up by five in the second, Nets turn some hustle into muscle off the offensive board. Cam Johnson throws it up, and Nick Claxton throws it down, and the Nets have life. Claxton had 19 points, 12 boards, trying to keep this season alive. But the Sixers weren't having it. Tobias Harris, Mr. New York Basketball in 2010. Boy, does he love coming home. Led the way with 25 points. Nets swept out of the playoffs for a second straight season. 96-88, the final in game four. You know, credit to them. Um, I guess the guys just came in, knew they were down, you know, their best player. And just, you know, the guys that came in just played even harder and um, played harder than us. We competed. We didn't make excuses this year. We figured out how to stay together. Uh, that locker room was uh, together even to the end of the game. I said it's an opportunity for us to, to grow from this, to reestablish, to um, uh, re-energize, to uh, um, put our, our culture uh, back in the place where it needs to be going forward. Credit to them. They made something of what could have been a disaster. And the good news, Nets are loaded with first-round draft picks and talented wing players to trade. They are set up for a big offseason. The Knicks are nowhere near ready for the offseason. They have taken control of this first-round series thanks to last night's Game 3 win over Cleveland. And the Knicks did it with some old-school Knicks playoff flavor. Rough play and a rocking garden crowd. Cavs were atrocious, their own words, losing by 20. The only game under 80 all season in the NBA. But the Knicks have to be ready for a better Cavs effort in game four on Sunday. The Garden's big playoff weekend continues.